know, you'd be popping up and then falling all over the place. Good morning, good morning. Stop! Fall it! Let us pray. Almighty God and Eternal Father, it is right and it is fitting that we would pause at the beginning of this great occasion to acknowledge your presence in our midst and to ask that your blessing would rest on all that occurs here today. We know that every good gift is the product of your richly given grace and is therefore worthy of our deepest gratitude. So for the beautiful weather we are enjoying today, for the treasured privilege of serving our nation in uniform, for the priceless legacy secured by brave Marines throughout our nation's history, for the faithful leadership you continue to provide to the Marines and sailors at the 2nd MLG, for these and so many more blessings, we give you thanks. Today we ask that this exchange of office, authority, and accountability be a reflection of your will. As Sergeant Major Gwaltney takes leave of his office through this time-honored ceremony, give him joy in the fulfillment of duty and satisfaction in leadership well thought Assure him of the promise of an enduring and accomplished legacy. As Sergeant Major Turner assumes this legacy and accepts the sword of office, give him ready recall of lessons learned in prior assignments and a keen awareness of the responsibilities now borne for the men and women of this group and their families. Inspire him and empower him to lead the MLG to new heights of excellence. For both of these men, we ask that you would bless the families and friends who support them with the priceless gifts of love and understanding. You would grant each of them grace and wisdom equal to every need. Help each of us gather here to appreciate the wisdom inherent in this ceremony, creating within us as it does a sense of continuity and strength amidst change. Keep us faithful in our duties. Make us worthy examples for those who follow. These things we ask of you, O oh God, the source of all courage, the fountain of all wisdom, and the object of all hope. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the mass of the firepower from muzzle loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation that you will see today. rise for the march on of the colors and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem.
please be seated.
Sergeants Major, front and center, march! Since 1875, non staff non officers have carried the non officer officer's sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The Sergeant Major is the senior enlisted leader and advisor to the key group mission for his or her unit. Today's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one Sergeant Major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major William J. Gowalki, subject, relief, effective 0900, 24 May, 2023, you stand relieved of your duties as Sergeant Major, 2nd Marine Logistics Group. You will proceed and report to the Inspector General of the Marine Corps your duty as Sergeant Major, Office of the Inspector General of the Marine Corps. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Sir, something could happen in the point From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Wesley O. Turner II. Subject appointment. Effective 0901, 24 May 2023, you are appointed the duties of Sergeant Major, 2nd Marine Logistics Group. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major Turner appointed the duties. Sergeants, Majors, Command Master Chiefs, Master Gunnery Sergeants, Commanders, family, friends, Marines, Sailors, and Second MLG, welcome to this this awesome ceremony this morning, where uh, where we say goodbye to, to, to one and, and welcome another. Before I uh, continue on, I just want to make a couple thank yous. First, I want to say thanks to the Second Marine Division Band. I tell you, you guys look awesome, you sound awesome, and, and there is no ceremony that, that, that is worth its weight without you being part of it. So thank you. If I could get a round of applause for them, please. I'd also like to th say thanks to Sergeant Major Fay and your team for putting this on. And I'd like to say thanks to uh, all the Marines and Sailors of 2nd MLG and the 8,000 that you represent. You look awesome this morning. Everything looked great. And we are all proud to serve alongside of you. So thank you. <coughs> Um, so, so as we want to talk about, uh, it's an honor for me to, to, to actually talk about uh, Sergeant Major Galtney and welcome Sergeant Major Turner. You know, uh, since Sergeant Major Galtney's been here the last two years, Second MLG's been pretty busy. You, know, you kind of go back two years and think, through that time we were doing vaccinations across the country. We did Allies Welcome, Operation Allies Welcome. We did uh, Trident Juncture in, in Norway. We've done multiple uh, DFTs and, uh, and, and GFM requirements. I think we've done 15 SLTs. We've planned and are in the middle of execution, uh, in middle middle of executing force design uh, transition for this MLG. Uh, and and it, I tell you all that, and I could go on and on and on on the things that have been going on in the second MLG. I tell you all that, Sergeant Major Galtney has been in the middle of all that. He's been in the middle of all the things that have been happening in 2nd MLG over the last two years. Providing advice and counsel first to General Poole and then, and then to me, to all the commanders and sergeants majors in this organization, to the leaders of 2MEF. He's been knee deep in, in this MLG. And I will tell you, we, are, we benefit from that counsel and advice and his expertise and his impact is going to be felt for years to come as we transition. I'd also like to highlight his commitment to NCO PME in particular, our, our corporal's course and our corporal PM, corporal's PME. So when he first got here, he took a look at our corporal's course curriculum and made some changes to that. And then recently, over the last several months, he's taken another whack at kind of kind of improving 
our NCOP me, in particular in this case, corporal scores. Refining the curriculum, and then we've expanded corporal scores. So we will have one corporal scores in second MLG where all corporals in this MLG will go through. So we have a common experience, okay, a common education, and then we get to cross pollinate across all of our different MOSs and, 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 and all the different commands. That's been a heavy lift, okay? It's taken some additional people to expand it. We've had to do some facility stuff. Um, and, and I tell you, the work he's done for that, uh, you know, he's gonna leave before this comes to fruition, but I will tell you the impacts that we, he will have on young Marines and sailors, because we send sailors to that too here in MLG. The young Marines and sailors will be felt for years and years to come. And it's very impressive to watch how much time he spent on this and how much time he spends with our corporals uh, every single course. We've expanded the course, etc. So I just want to highlight to that. that that's his impact in this organization operationally, structurally, and, and from, a, from a development perspective are, 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 are going to be felt for many, many, many years to come. Hey, uh, Command Master Chief and I are blessed to have him as a battle buddy, to have him as a battle buddy over the last, you know, for me, 11 months for, 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 for Master Chief Beck for the last almost two years or so. Um, we've had an opportunity to travel the world, uh, to, to see our Marines and sailors um, train, to visit other countries' militaries and talk to them and, and talk, discussions, deep discussions bring them back and, and implement changes to, to make sure we're better trained and, and, and making sure we're doing things a little bit better here. But he's been a wonderful battle buddy. Um, look, I will tell you, he's also one that we were able to make jokes of occasionally. Um, and we were probably first to make jokes of him, so, so Chris and I didn't get made fun of. But, uh, you know, I don't want to make fun of him in front of everybody for his coffee selections. <laughs> But I do, if I could tell just a small story, right? So he's a big guy, right? He's, he's in, in, in good shape, he's an intimidating guy. So if you're a young Marine and you see the Sergeant Major coming, like, like you're, you're intimidated. You're like, that's what I want to be someday. Until he walks out of the coffee shop <laughs> with a coffee that looks like it's milk and it's got like six inches of whipped cream and he's really proud of the foo-foo coffee he drinks, by the way. Okay, not the same impression of, of that we kind of, anyway, we don't make fun of him at ever, most of every day. <laughs> and then, you know, we've had an opportunity to travel the world, right? And, and you think, okay, you travel the world and you, you get to eat good food, especially when you're in foreign countries, right? You want to eat some different food. And, uh, and man, he just, he likes his, his hamburgers and his pizza. And he sure really tries any additional, additional food. He's not, he, he, <laughs> um, and then hours in cars and airplanes, I will tell you that, that Command Master Chief Beck and I have gotten to hear every single flat earth and other conspiracy story that you can imagine. What I would recommend to you all is do not ask him about that, because he will pin you down and spend hours telling you how the world is flat and, and, and multiple other conspiracy stories. So, so just, just a warning. Hey, in all seriousness, though, the guy has never met, uh, he's never met someone that, that he didn't like, you know, um, was, wasn't a friend. What I mean by that is everywhere he goes, he'll strike up a conversation with anybody, Marine, sailor, civilian, and, um, and immediately they're friends. And he cares about people. He asks them detailed questions, you know, and really cares about everybody that he goes and meets. And it's a really impressive quality He's just down to earth guy that, that really cares and respects for, for all men and women. And, and you can see that every day when, when you just spend a lot of time with, with, with him. Hey, Sergeant Major Fay, I did, I did tell him that the MEF order says that outgoing commanders and senior enlisted get five to seven minutes to speak. I don't know if after 11 months if he's gonna start listening to me today, but, but I just want you to know that I did tell him that's what the order says. Mary, for you and your boys, thanks so much. Thanks for, uh, for all you do for, for, for your husband, for your dad. Thanks for your commitment to our Marines and sailors and their families. And we're certainly gonna miss you. Thanks for being a great battle buddy. Thanks for all you've done for 2nd MLG, for 2MEF. And I can tell you, we're all, we're all gonna miss you. So thank you very much. So Major Turner, for Heather, welcome. 
It's great to have you here. Um, so, so welcome to Second MLG. Um, you have a great reputation. Uh, the Marines and sailors are certainly fortunate that you're going to step in and and start to take the lead here. Um, I want to thank your whole family. You know, you at this time in your life, you have other choices, and you chose to stay. You chose to continue to serve as a family, um, to lead and continue to grind, and that says so much about you and, and you, Heather, and your kids, and I just want to say thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for, for being here this morning to honor the Marines and Sailors of 2nd MLG, to honor Sergeant Major Galtney and Sergeant Major Turner, Silver Fidelis. Okay, one, I'm going to clarify. It's a caramel mocha. <laughs> Frappuccino, double blended with whipped cream. Uh, very important. And then, of course, they busted me when during the seasonal, you know, I had to get the pumpkin spice latte. So, uh, so yes, I do love my foo foo coffee drinks. Uh, you're right, pizza, hamburgers, that's true. But don't forget the fish and chips. I do like some fish and chips. And uh, not to mention in Norway, the 7 Eleven hot dogs. I know me and Chris really, uh, we wouldn't hesitate to pull over to make sure we get our nice uh, 7-Eleven hot dogs since we don't have 7-Elevens here in North Carolina. Uh, sir, I'll try to make the five minutes. My wife just said, just don't go up there and yell at me. Every time you're on there, you look mean and you're yelling, so I'm gonna try not to do that. Uh, so once again, th thank you, general officers, commanders, senior enlisted leaders, uh, Marines, sailors, family, friends. Once again, thank you for coming out here. CG listed off some accomplishments, sir. I like to say, what I did is just try to set conditions, and I think it's important as leaders, we set conditions for our Marines to excel, right? And I think that's what our Marines did here over the past two years in the MLG. You mentioned it, sir, the first year, uh, our Marines didn't take a knee for COVID. They're out there still deploying uh, around the globe, providing vaccination efforts to, in Memphis and Philadelphia, over hundreds of thousands of vaccines given to the public. Uh, Operation Allies Welcome, Standing that up out of nowhere right there in uh, Quantico, Virginia, providing uh, Afghan refugees a pathway in the United States, over 5,000 plus uh, Colonel Mills and obviously General Poole out there running that evolution. Just amazing. And then if you look now, once again, crisis response, we're here getting ready to deploy to the border uh, to deal with the migrant surge. So Marines of the, of the MLG are constantly out there getting after it. From operation side, sir, once we got out of COVID, these Marines embraced the force design and experimentation. Our CLBs out there in Norway, Finland, and Sweden, getting after providing distributed logistics within the littorals right there in one of our adversaries' backyards. It is amazing to see them out there. But once again, as we set conditions here in the MLG, I'm going to say thank you, one, to the MEF staff. General Adnan, sir, you and your team, that's exactly what you did to us, providing us leadership, vision, and, and prior priorities that allow us to kind of get after what we get after. And then personally from our command, from our command deck, we thank you, Sergeant Major Travis, Command Master Chief Urbana, where you at? Where you, Command Master Chief Urbana, uh, Sergeant Major Dave Wilson. Once again, we appreciate your, your leadership and then your mentorship. So once again, thank you, sir. Uh, the MLG motto is, you'll never fight alone. I actually like warriors, sustaining warriors better, but. The new one is, you'll never fight alone. So my counterparts in division, the MEF, uh, the MAW, once again, I, I appreciate every time we go around and we travel, as we provide debts to your, orga to your organizations, you don't look at them, at, you, your teams never look at them as attachments. They look at them as family and they treat them as such. And I appreciate that. But I do have one request and that's to General Benedict, sir. If you can borrow me a couple maintainers we have a C-130. I think we're past you on the PM. So, uh, sir, if you could help us out with that, it would. would... <laughs> we we would appreciate it. Uh, just you know, I had to get permission to to, to say that joke. Uh, <laughs> no, to our. Oh, I think I'm look check, check. check. <laughs> My five minutes is up already. I'll get to these quick. <laughs> to our community support, uh, support. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel retired. Uh, Mr. Brown said, once again, once again oh, I'm sorry, Dave, he would get, he's mad if I use his last name. Dave, appreciate all the support. The Swansboro Military Affairs Committee, uh, recognizing our Marines on a quarterly basis. Or we, once again, we appreciate it. 
Uh, me and the general, once again, recognizing us. We, we thank you. To the civilians, uh, the civilian workforce here in the MLG, thank you. Once again, the job you do frees up Marines and sailors to not only get after war fighting, but then also get consumed by the mess staff as they task us. So uh, there's my little jab there for you guys. Uh, to the commanders and senior enlisted leaders, once again, setting conditions at your organizations, the way you challenge Marines and get after that mission is, 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 is awesome to watch. And then once again, shows the effort you guys are putting forward when you look at our record retention rates here in the MLG. We haven't seen retention rates like this in decades, and that's the work that you guys have been putting in on a daily basis, and, and, I, and I thank you. Um, to, our, to, our, to, to my battle buddies, uh, I'm gonna include obviously uh, our, our libo risk, Colonel Mills associated with our, with our battle buddies here. Uh, no better team. Uh, I like to say we're, we're a fire team as we, as we move around the battle space. Um, I'm gonna miss it. It's definitely a highlight of my career. Uh, I don't know if Sergeant Major Turner is gonna be able to give you all the Facebook facts that I come with, uh, and not to mention challenging the norm. So I don't know how he's gonna make up for that. Uh, but no, I'm gonna miss it. And, uh, and I look forward to not only seeing you guys in the future, once again, congratulations to Command Master Chief Beck, who's gonna go at, here in the next year, uh, take over uh, Command Master Chief Urbana. Once again, I appreciate it. And then special call out to my senior enlisted. Um, Sergeant Major Fay, your team out here for the, for the relief and appointment ceremony and all of you. I'm telling you right now, there's no team. I'll put you up against anybody. And, and, and I, know, I know we'll come out on top. Thank you for everything you've done for me while we're here. Uh, to, the, to the family friends, thank you for showing up today. I know our family and the, the support. <laughs> Damn, I'm over again. Uh, the support you give our family, once again, I, I appreciate it. And to my immediate family, just so you know, it's my wife's birthday today. Yeah, yeah it sound, that, that sounds good until she looks at you and goes, really, you scheduled this on my birthday? Uh, so once again, babe, happy birthday to my boys. I'm proud of you. Yes, you're gonna go to school immediately after this. So uh, no, you're not gonna get out of it. And lastly, Sergeant Major Turner, uh, I know you said the same thing I did. I know I was talking to you before the slating board where you're like, hey dog, I just want to come and replace you at second MLG. I'm like, damn, my position even is, isn't even on the board. And he wanted to come and replace me. So I know you thought the same thing when Sergeant Major Black called you. You were like, hey, there's no better place you wanted to go to the second MLG. And I think you picked the right spot. These Marines will continue to, to amaze you uh, and challenge you. So I know you're the right guy for the job and I look forward to seeing you where you go. Everyone knows now being a part of the IG office, you know, the next time I come down here, people are gonna go, great. <laughs> two things. One, I'm going to talk to them a lot. And two, I have to be here for an inspection team. So uh, I look forward to watching you guys from afar. Good luck, Sergeant Major Turner. And uh, it's all yours, brother. So whatever time that he used, I'm, going, I'm about to make up for it right now. Where's Sergeant Major Travis? Right here. Oh, yeah. He already told me, hey, if you ain't done nothing, get in, say what you got to say, get out. So here, so here we go. Good morning, General Officers, Commanders, Senior Enlisted, Marines, Sailors, family and friends. Hey, thank you very much for making the trip. For those who made the trip as far away as Paris Island, South Carolina, um, it, it, it's an honor. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here. Um, <clears throat> General McWilliams, sir, I look forward to getting after it day one. We can go today um, and just just getting out there and, and showing the Marines and sailors, you know, good leadership and that we're going to be ready to go. Excuse me. Marines, of the ML Marines and sailors of the MLG, hey, I look forward to learning from you and I also look forward to working with you as we take on the challenges that we have in our future. And if we get ready to, to do the debating of the United States. For my wife, family, all those great people that I have in the Turner household. It's not really Turner household by name only. It's her household. But, but anyway, um, <clears throat> here, here we go. Last one. I didn't have to pack them up. I didn't have to like, hey, you know, the sandwich talk. For, for those that know that, the sandwich talk, the crap sandwich, I'm keeping my language in the box here. Uh, but that, the crap sandwich talk that we know as service members, we, we sometimes have to have with our family. 
I was I was honored and, and blessed to, to get this assignment, and I'm very excited to be here. Um, <clears throat> what one thing I'd like to offer, you know, I really appreciate my family really appreciates all of you taking the opportunity to come here time out of your day i'm sure you've had a million other things that you could be doing right now but you chose to be here with us and we greatly appreciate that ladies and gentlemen separate fidelis all right. all right.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Oh, 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 oh,